Hi guys, um, Curly Moo here. So, this is my first kind of um, review, tutorial, never done this kind of thing before, but I thought since I was trying a product that I've heard a lot about and a method that I've heard a lot about, that I would, you know, give it a shot and let you guys know what I think. So, um, I'm a little late in the process, I guess, but not so late that you can't get some benefit from it. So what I've tried um, are Anthony Dickey's Hair Rules products. So the Hair Rules Salon in New York, um, a lot of curly girls go and, you know, use his method. And I decided I would use his products. I actually made an appointment to see him... Um, in January for a straighten or you know a press fat iron whatever um not sure though if if I actually want to now I'm getting a little nervous about straightening not sure that I'm ready to do that yet I am just um six months post pre chop a uh, uh, big chop actually a uh, big chop June 11th um I have not had a relaxer since I guess September of 2013. So I big chopped at um, nine months post relaxer. So a lot of growth since big chop. It was very, very short. I'll see if I can find some pictures later on um, to post. So I purchased the entire curly line um, of Anthony Dickey and I'll come back and I'll review it, tell you all about the products um, and his method if you don't know it. Um, but just a little background, so he has this line for curly girls. Um, he has a daily cleansing cream. I will come back once I'm dry and show you all the products. But he has a daily cleansing cream, um, which is like your everyday kind of shampoo. He suggests you only shampoo maybe once a week and then you just co-wash and not with a co-wash per se like you buy like a shade moisture or as I am co-wash but just with conditioner um so since it was my wash day I did use the deli cleansing cream um which didn't make my hair really soft um no lather no suds no anything like that no sulfates um did make my hair really really soft and then I used his quench conditioner um, which is for a kinky kind of curly hair and you put it in you massage it in it starts to form your curl if you don't know Anthony's Dickey Anthony Dickey's products or the hair roll line is supposed to make your curls pop that's what it's for to teach you how to define your curl um, and you're supposed to get the best wash and go of your life so um, I put the conditioner in, I left it in heat. Anthony Dickey asked that you do your entire hair regimen in the shower. He wants your hair to be soaked and wet while you're using the products. So I did that, I put the conditioner in, I massaged it, you know, formed my curl. I finger detangled, you can use a wide tooth comb if you'd like, but I finger detangled in the shower and then scrunched, you know, so that my curl started to form and they did. Um, I left it in for maybe about 10 minutes and then I rinsed it out. I did use, he has a leave-in, tells you just to use a dollop about the size of a nickel. Depending on how much hair you have, you can increase it and massage it into the hair. I'm a fan of leave-in, so I used it. He doesn't necessarily say that you have to use a leave-in, but I'm a fan of leave-ins. My hair is really dry. His products are supposed to um, promote moisture in dry, kinky, curly hair. So I put the leave-in in and then I redamped my hair because he wants your hair to be soaking wet when you use your styling product. So I used his kinky curly cream. He does have a curl whip. The curl whip is supposed to be designed for um, curls that are not so kinky or curly but more like wavy or wiry. So I went with the kinky curly cream. It is really creamy, much like the Deli Cleansing Shampoo or Cream. That's very creamy. It's a, it has a thick consistency, as does the conditioner, as does the, the uh, cream, the Kinky Curly Cream. And you're supposed to almost like saturate your hair with it. I don't know if you guys can see. I'll try to get a little closer, but my hair is like really white. It's, it's like white completely. Um... And it's supposed to be, you know, per his instructions. So you do need time to dry somewhat um, with this method. Now, my curls are popping. I, I'm trying to get closer to see if you guys can see.
but they are popping. They are there. It's also supposed to um, reduce shrinkage. Like after you have completely, you're supposed to put the kinky curly cream in in sections of your hair. So like section it off, apply it, scrunch it, and smooth it down and in like raking with your fingers as you're applying it. And style your hair in the shower the way you want it. So like however you're going to wear your wash and go. Like I normally um, wear mine back off my face and I'll probably just do that once it dries. Um, but because it fell back into my face afterwards after I put it up, but you're supposed to completely saturate your, saturate your hair section for section with the kinky curly cream, then lightly dampen it all over again to kind of activate it and then give your hair a good, I'm not doing it now, but a good, good shake and flip and shake and flip and that helps to set and promote your curls, define your curls, and then once again, finger it the way you want it and leave it. Okay, so he says to either air dry um, for the best results to sit under a hooded dryer for maybe 20, 25 minutes. And then if you want to diffuse a little bit, you can do that. Um, or you could just let it air dry and diffuse, whatever's up to you. But he suggests maybe you go under a hooded dryer for 20, 25 minutes. My hair takes a very long time to dry. So I'm definitely going to sit under a hooded dryer. Um, maybe for 30 minutes, I'll see what it's like after 20 minutes. And then maybe I'll diffuse a little. Um... And then at the end, he has a, um, and I'll come back and I'll show you again, but he has this, I don't know if you can see it here, but this is a finishing cream that you're supposed to come back and add some of once your hair is at least 90% dry to promote moisture um, in your hair and shine and, and that sort of thing. So um, once your curls are set and you're and you're ready to dry, however you choose to dry, you are not supposed to touch your curls at all until they are dry. That's how you keep your curl pattern and you stay away from frizz, right? So no touching. And I know how we curly girls are. You want to touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. I want to touch it right now. I want to flip this back out my face right now, but I'll wait and I'll do that once it's dry. So I'm going to stop here. I am going to go sit under the dryer and I'll see you girls in a minute.